Greetings. I found a very interesting article. Four crystals for empaths and sensitive souls. Yes, I won't be long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is posted by Spiritual Awakening on May the 11, 2016. Yeah. By Adrian Goff, guest writer. Being an empath is a beautiful gift yeah, and, spirit, and a spiritual superpower. Although it might not always feel like it. An empath is somebody who is able to feel the emotions, the energy, and even the physical pain of others. They tend to have a heart of gold and a highly developed intuitive sense. This heightened level of sensitivity and perception can make an empath shine as a healer, a counselor, or in any helping profession, literally feeling what others are experiencing can guide you in how to best assist them. Perhaps that's why most so many people are drawn to empaths. A challenge for empaths is to learn to distinguish which emotions, pains, and thoughts belong to others, and which are their own. Protection is key for empaths to help them avoid becoming overwhelmed and drained. It is also helpful for them to have skills and tools to release negative energy and emotions they may have picked up. As the cosmic and planetary energies continues to intensify, the need for empaths to practice, to practice good self-care becomes even more important. Thankfully, there are four powerful crystals that provide perfect support for empaths and sensitive souls. One, Sugilite. Sugi, sugilite sorry. Sugilite is a godsend for sensitives who are on their spiritual path due to its ability to protect, purify, awaken, and drown. It can come in various shades of purple, and some specimens contain spots of black, gray, or white. Such a light is a shielding stone that forms an impermeable bubble of protection around you. Its protective quality keeps you safe from intrusive or disharmony energy, negative emotions, and lower thought forms from others or from your environment. It can also block psychic attack and prevent entity attachment. I don't know about this, this last phrase, I don't know about this, okay? But this is what it is written, so I read it and I will continue now. Sugilite brings in the violet flame of purification and helps you to transmute and dispel negative energy, patterns and karma that might be affecting you whether it originates from others or from yourself. Perhaps this is why Sugilite is commonly recommended for sensitive souls children or oh well wait we're going too much into the <laughs> new age stuff and by the way uh, I, I stopped myself to uh, comment on the on the word karma okay but I'm not going to read uh, and I'm not going to read uh, what I see right now. So let's skip. Sugilite awakens your the higher chakras and keeps your intuition char sharply tuned while also grounding and balancing you. While it boosts the intuition, it helps empaths to navigate their surroundings 
and to avoid negative situations and people. It can also help empaths who do healing or metaphysical work to enhance their healing and psychic gifts. The presence of manga <laughs> I'll get it. manganese, iron, and lithium gives sulgelite a calming, a calming, balancing, and grounding quality that is especially helpful for empaths. Being grounded and centered makes it easier to be aware of your own energy and to detect when you're being affected by outside influences. By the way, I want to mention that those who are on a very restricted budget, Surgelite is three of the four stones that are mentioned in this article are cheap. The only one that is expensive is the Lipidolite, but relatively expensive, not that expensive, but relatively expensive. The second one, Lapis Lazuli, one of my preferred stones. Lapis Lazuli is a beautiful blue stone with inclusions of pyrite, false gold, and calcite. Priced by the ancient Egyptians and recognized by, well, they mentioned in Edgar, Edgar Casey now. Anyways, let's skip that. Lapis Lazuli assists with the spiritual mastery, higher dimensional atonement. Oh my gosh, whoa, baby. Okay, let's skip that. Lapis is a highly. <laughs> okay. I'm not for the new age stuff, all right. So, but they are very good. They are good informations that are contained in this article. Lapis is a highly protective stone that seals, repairs, and strengthens your auric field, while also clearing any negativity that you might have picked up. The pyrite inclusions ground, balance, and stabilize the entire auric field. Pyrite also blocks lower influences and energies. Some impairs experience energy drain due to a breach in their energy field, and pyrite can help to replenish the depleted, the depleted energy. The calcite inclusions bring a pronounced clean Get it. A pronounced clearing effect helping to cleanse and purify the entire biosystem. Calcite also has an amplifying effect that energizes you and increases the power of lapis lazuli. I love this stone and I love this name too. For these reasons, lapis lazuli is one of the best most complete protection and energy maintenance stones out there. Lapis Lazuli is a stone of higher connection, wisdom, and truth that can expand your consciousness and tune you into higher levels of guidance. Well, think about uh, the Creator here. You, know, you don't have to buy into the New Age bullshit. It can help empaths to decipher and trust the subtle, intuitive impressions they are getting while empowering them to act upon the information appropriately. Since empaths can get bombarded by people who need help, Lapis Lazuli is a great choice for helping them to speak up and to set clear boundaries when necessary. Three lipidolite. A common complaint that empaths have is being anxious and overwhelmed because they are like antennas and that receive vast amounts of feelings and energies that surround them. Lipidolite is a beautiful antidote to the stress, anxiety, fear, and lower emotions from others that can inundate their fields 
and overwhelm them. Lepidolite is a beautiful stone that is normally in the pink, lavender, or purple spectrum and has a high lithium content. Crystals and stones containing lithium naturally emit a calming energy that can counteract feelings of panic, worry, anxiety, stress, anger, and on the other uncomfortable emotional states. It feels like a soothing balm that soothes out frizzled nerves and helps you to take a deep breath, relax, and let go. It effectively clears the major and minor chakras as well as the meridians and block of block energy, unhealthy emotions, and negative thoughts. Lipidolite has a filtering effect. It helps you to tune out extra new synergies, feelings, and impressions that you want you don't need to absorb. It is highly recommended for sensitive people because it fortifies the emotional body and helps you to be less affected by drama or chaos that might enter into your sphere. It also encourages you to set your own space and to lovingly keep the door closed to energies that would throw you off center. I have a thought popping out my mind right now. Would be wonderful if the the wars would be just uh, sharing stones with each other. But I digress. Number four, rainbow fluorite. Rainbow fluorite is a multitasking powerhouse that can help empaths on all levels of the being. Fluorite is one of the magical minerals that can be found in a wide, I'll get it, wider range of colors. Pink, magenta, white, purple, blue, green, yellow, red, and black. Rainbow fluorite has multiple colors in the stone. This means that it is equipped to clear and balance multiple chakras simultaneously. Sacred geometry also plays an important role in the energy of fluorite. Fluorite naturally forms in the shape of the cube, or, well, sacred geometry, though. I'm going to skip that, okay? I'll give you the link in the video description if you want to read it. I'm not interested to read that, because I don't know much about sacred geometry, and I am very much unsure that it is a good thing to study, okay? So I'm not going to talk about things that might not be helpful and that I don't know about anyways. So, Rainbow fluorite is the stone that keeps your feet anchored to the earth. All of your chakras open and clear, and your consciousness attuned to the higher dimensions of reality. This is essential for empaths, so that they stay center, grounded, protected, and tuned in. Well, just a little mention here, that is, again, my comment, is that uh, in this society we tend to... Uh, put empaths and new age in the same category. It is not. They are, the empaths are not just uh, new agers. There are other empaths that are really not following the new age philosophy, okay? And I don't see anything wrong having stones or precious stones with you. I love precious stones. So it cannot hurt you anyway. Not even financially speaking about those four stones except one that is a little more expensive. Continuing to read. Rainbow fluorite really shines when applied to the higher chakras because it heightens your 
psychic ability and intuition. It also sharpens your mental body and can help empaths to understand and process the incoming spiritual... Oh my gosh. Now they are talking about downloads. Let's skip that. Known as the IQ stone, it brings order, coherency and clarity to your thoughts and senses. It has a profound clearing effect getting rid of mental clutter and general psychic debris from other people that might otherwise lead to confusion. Rainbow fluoride has a powerful healing influence on the physical body. According to Melody, author of Love is in the Earth, fluoride purifies, cleanses and eliminates what that which is in order in a physical body level. Therefore, it is a healing support in, for many diseases such as colds, flu infections, and even cancer. Oh, maybe. I'm not the one saying it. For empaths who pick up other people's physical ailments and pains, fluoride can help to release and heal them with greater ease and speed. Rainbow fluoride's clean, clearing, stabilizing, and protecting qualities are also highly beneficial for the emotions and for the aura. It can help to clear emotions and blockages and step, to stabilize erratic feelings and to bring you back into a state of emotional balance and calm. Rainbow fluoride clears negativity from the auric field and protects against EMFs. I'm not the one saying it, they're the one saying it. I will put the link in the video description. Lower energies and tough forms, psychic attack, and other undesirable energies. Being an empath can rock if you have the right rocks. Allow these four crystals to have your back while you use your beautiful gifts to help heal people and the planet and again i will have that for that you don't have to be a new ager to help heal people and the planet because again and i will mention it all over again there are impacts on them that are not new agers this being said Thank you for listening. And I will put the link in the video description because so that I give the credit to whom the credit is due and so also you can read it for yourself.